Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm playing with one of my new die sets from my new collection for Spellbinders. This is from the Showered with Love collection and the set that I'm playing with today is called Umbrella Bloom. Now it is a wonderful collection and if you haven't seen the introduction video that I did I'm going to share it here. And uh, let's go ahead and play with this so you can see how everything comes together. First of all, you do get an umbrella and lots of ties that fit inside the top layer to customize it, as well as lots of leaves and flowers. I'm going to start by putting together the umbrella and for that I'm going to use two shades of uh, blue for uh, the two layers. For the back layer I'm going to use the darker shade, for the front layer the lighter one. This is going to give the illusion of even more dimension. So after cutting out this, I will go ahead and uh, cut out the stick with uh, silver cardstock as well as the handle using the same blue cardstock as I did for the top layer. I will also go ahead and cut out loads of leaves and flowers so that I have everything ready. At this stage, of course, you can decide if you want to customize your umbrella and add even more details. So after placing one layer on top of the other, then you can use the little ties that give you uh, solid colors or stripes or even dots. But for my design today, I'm going to stay with a plain umbrella since I'm going to add a lot of leaves and flowers and it's going to look too busy at the end. Now I have all the parts that I need to put together my umbrella and I don't know if you can tell but uh, there are embossed lines on the bottom layer so you know exactly where you're supposed to align the top layer. So I'm adding four little squares there and I'm leaving the middle empty so that I can slide later on the stick of the umbrella. I'm going to peel off my little foam squares and then place the top layer on top making sure that I align it correctly with the lines that are already there. By separating with foam squares the two layers, it's going to give you a little pocket, so if you turn it upside down, you can fill it in with the flowers that are included in the set, but also with other little elements that you may have in your stash. So uh, in this little uh, handle die, it's going to give you two little pieces, one for the bottom handle and one for the top of the stick. I'm not going to use this for this card as I want this to stick out, to stand out as silver as it is, but I'm going to stick down the handle at the bottom. And then I'm also going to apply some glue along the stick and slide it in between the two layers to complete my umbrella. By the way, I'm using my matte glue from my Stamperia collection, which is matte and that means that if it oozes out from the side of those pieces, it's not going to show, it's going to completely disappear and dry completely matte. So my umbrella is perfect, looking great, and let's go ahead and start playing with the flowers. You will find in the set lots of uh, leaves, lots of flowers, bigger, smaller branches, uh, and even uh, tiny tulips. So you can uh, really uh, create your very own flower composition. You don't have to use them in combination with the umbrella. You can just use them separately. It is a great set of um, little leaves and flowers that can embellish pretty much all your projects. So that it is a great uh, value for money. Now let's work on the background. I'm working on a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of white cardstock and with my blending brush I'm applying some ink only at one side of the panel. I am going for an ombre look where I will have saturated blue at the bottom and as I go towards the other side of the card it's going to be white. The color that I'm applying is cerulean blue from my own collection of dye ink pads with Stamperia. And once I'm happy with the color ink blending, I'm going to do some splatters using the same colored ink just to give some interest on the white space. So I'm diluting that ink with water and with a very thin brush I'm adding some splatters. The very thin brush is going to make sure that the splatters are super tiny. I'm using one of my stitched rectangle dies and I'm going to cut out this panel to be slightly smaller than the standard card. And at the back I'm going to add a piece of foam tape and stick it on top of the card upside down. So now it's just a matter of embellishing your umbrella with all the cut out leaves and flowers that you have already prepared. 
And to tell you the truth, this type of card making can take me forever if I overthink where I need where every little flower and leaf to go. But in any case, I decided for this specific card not to overthink everything. I'm just going to stick them down and uh, at the end of the day, I was really happy with how it turned out. Now for this color composition you can use as many colors of flowers as you like and uh, here I went with white and two shades of pink and for the leaves and branches if you notice I used three different shades of green just to make it look more interesting. Now of course you can add as many leaves as you like to make it fuller or you can uh, go minimalistic and not just a branch with a couple of flowers. I will show you one example like this at the end of the video. Now at the back of my panel I have foam tape and I'm going to place it on top of a standard card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half and at this stage my card is pretty much ready. All I need to do is to add a sentiment. There is a sentiment stamp set in my collection that is going to give you lots of options to play with and uh, it is great for pretty much every occasion. However, for this card today I'm going to play with the new collection by Jana Smakula. Absolutely love her new collection with Spellbinders. And I went with this skinny Hello World that I cut out from the silver cardstock. It matches the stick of my umbrella. This die set is called Wonderful Script Sentiments and it comes with even more uh, skinny sentiments along with the hello one that I used here. So you see the card is pretty much ready and when you don't know where to stop you have to add a little bit of blink. So here I'm adding a few gems by Spellbinders in blue color to match the color of my umbrella. So I'm calling this card done and let's take a look at some more ideas on what you can do. Here is an umbrella that I used it plain without flowers but I went rainbow order. Here is the same idea but more minimalistic with just a few flowers on one side. And here are a couple more that I combined with the raining hearts background dies. So these are some examples, you will find way more if you go to the Spellbinders, the talented designers of Spellbinders are sharing their ideas as well. Thank you all so much for joining me today, links to everything can be found down below. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired and I'll see you all next time.